have you ever wondered what it's like to actually live in Greenville, South Carolina, to enjoy our downtown area and all of the things that are so wonderful of this beautiful city? Well, many people talk about the Main Street in the Falls Park area of downtown. Today, we're going to unpack a little area called the West End. It is beautiful and it's literally at the West End of Main Street, but most people don't talk about it. We're gonna look at the shops, the restaurants, and all the fun little coffee spots that you can enjoy. So let's go ahead and hop on into it. So if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about the Greenville area and places like we are today in downtown Greenville, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything in this gorgeous city. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team and we would love to help you. Whether it's a week from now or a year from now, don't hesitate to reach out. All of my information is below and let's go ahead and get into that video. One of the things you're going to notice about the West End as we walk through is that the shops are very similar, but they're not right on top of each other. The street's not as congested. While there's apartments above the shops, like the coffee and the restaurants and the little places like the Copper Penny, which is such cute clothes, it has various sizes at very good prices, but it's upscale clothing. You want to check that one out. There's a spa at West End. So these are similar things that you're going to find on Main Street, but they're a little more tucked back. It's a little bit more quaint down here on the West End. Very um, chic, should you say. So let's go ahead and check out some more. We've got the Old Europe coffee shop with pastries. There's outdoor seating and there's indoor seating, whichever you'd like to do, whether it's hot or it's chilly. Today we're experiencing fake fall. It's the first like time of our year where it feels like it's fall, but don't worry, next week it'll be 90 degrees again. So that's why I have a jacket on. And you may see some people in the background with sweatshirts, but they're still wearing shorts because it feels like that. It's not really fall yet. And we are mid to late August on August 24th. So just get you an idea. We'll go back into a summer feel until probably about mid-October. And and then we start to really get that pumpkin and spice flavor of a fall feel. You have places like the Custard Boutique, and then we have a revitalization happening where it's called the Whiskey Hotel, and it has like no vacancy on the sign. It's being revitalized. They say it's going to be a high-end Mexican restaurant with a bar in it, and it's gonna be really cool, which is a really unique place to put in that spot. It has a very good vibe, so we wanna make sure if you're in town and it's already already open, you want to check that one out. Let's go ahead and check out some more of the West End. As we move on forward, we're going to see Curian and places like On the Rocks. Curian is a restaurant that has brunch and evening food. So you can have a charcuterie, you can have oysters, and then you could have shareable things in the morning for your brunch. It's very, very good. And again, it's not that hard to get into. There's plenty of parking right across the street compared to when you're on Main Street and you have to go find a parking garage. It's a lot harder. So this is a little unkept secret, which is called the West End. We have On the Rocks, which is live music. It's drinks, it's food. It's so much fun. It's a lively atmosphere in the evenings and you could just have an enjoyable night out. Let's go ahead and check out some more. Now we're in front of Otto Azakaya. It is a cool restaurant. It has sushi and tapas and sake bar. It's really cool. You want to enjoy being able to relax with your friends and your family. You can either do it inside or even outside to enjoy fresh air. It is a very walkable city, as you can see. It as well is entertaining indoor outdoor, as you've noticed. There's places that are right across the street, like Splash on Main, that you can go shopping. You can have dinner right afterwards. Again, you don't have to be in the hustle and bustle of downtown Main Street. You have all what you need over here on Main Street West End. As we walk further, you're gonna see even more of what I was saying. You have Paw Paws right next door to me, and that's a cool little dog place where you can even have a collar shop, figure out what the best thing for your dog is. It has organic treats and all kinds of fun stuff. But then you have a business. Like I was saying, you have coffee shops, shops, restaurants, businesses. You have Edward Jones right here for your financial planning. There's a restaurant right on the end, and then there's apartments. How cool is that? You have everything right here. So whether you need to go to a dentist's office that's right down the street, or you financial planning, 
take your dog for a walk, all kinds of stuff. And you get to enjoy art on the ground. How hard is that? Like, I would love that life. I don't know about you. So now we're at the part of the West End that heats up. And what I mean by that is the laughter is louder. The fun so much higher. It's so cool because right now I'm right across the street from the Greenville Baseball Stadium. It's called the Greenville Drive. It is a feeder team for the Boston Red Sox. So we have high, high talent on that team. So there's so much energy. You hear the laughter, the cheers. Sometimes you hear the booing because they're not so excited when somebody's beating us, whether it's the Savannah Bananas sometimes or whether it's the Asheville team. I forget their name because it doesn't matter. We're the Greenville Drive. We want to know about our team, right? Right across the street, the fun doesn't stop. New Realm Distillery bought out the cigar bar and it's so cool. They have outdoor entertainment for the kids, the adults, and then indoor drinks and that they can take out and enjoy. It's just such a cool part. When you get down to this part of the town, it's so loud and it's not the annoying loud. It's the energy, the fun filled loud that makes you feel good in your heart. You get to enjoy the American pastime of baseball without sometimes even being in the stadium. The trolleys that run down here can run to the stadium, whether you are all the way into the main street section on the Richardson Street garage, you can take the trolley for free and park there for free and enjoy all of this without having to park here with all the chaos. It's so freaking cool. Let's go ahead and check out some more. Now we get to the part of West End that has unique experiences, like One Tech. It is an adult adventure. So you come here for a bar, you have a great experience. It's virtual reality while you enjoy a beer. How crazy is that? It has lots of space. It even has cool little machines that you just get inside of. And so just imagine if you were a child at say Frankie's Fun Park or any of those places where you used to get into Pulp Vision for us older Gen Xs, where we'd sit inside of it or we would stand in it and drive and we'd be all um, focused on it. This is fully immersive digital experience to where you're just having an adult time of your life. We're gonna keep on going and check out Max. It's a restaurant and bar area with indoor and outdoor seating. You see the theme here in Greenville? We love the outdoors. We enjoy our fresh air. There's lush green spaces. We fully immerse ourselves in it and enjoy it. So you want to check out Max when you're here. It's right across the street from the Greenville Drive Stadium. And so if you want to have a beer before you go in, that's definitely the place to check out. So the fun doesn't stop there. We have the Crazy Mason, which is mason jars filled with amazing milkshakes and they're crazy. That's why it would get the name Crazy Mason. They have such ample space and lively fun inside. It's aesthetically pleasing to the heart and the taste buds. Across the street, you're going to have Bellwether, which is a beautiful, and I say beautiful because the architecture of these buildings is gorgeous. They're just beautiful. So inside is a pub and you have lots of different beers to choose from, things on tap, bottle, and IPAs, you name it. And to be right there, right next to the stadium you're literally at the gate at this point so then you have you can just say hi to Sheila Joe Jackson if you wanted to you go down a little further there's the Homewood Suites a lot of people stay at Hyatt or they stay on the main street of um, downtown which doesn't make sense to me if you're going to travel with kids or with multiple adults because the Homewood as you know has multiple bedrooms to a suite for you to enjoy most Homewoods have breakfast included or a nightcap or a dinner made for you you're not going to get that except for if you pay for it at say the Hilton or the Hyatt. So definitely if you're coming into town to check out the area or just to visit, don't forget to check out the Homewoods pricing. Usually it's really in line with the rest of the area's pricing for hotels, even though it has suites, except for on game nights. That's the tricky one. It's going to be very hard because you will literally walk out the hotel walk across the street to walk inside the gates. So do you want to check that out? So we made it. We're at the Greenville Drive. It is a really cool environment. It's an exact replica of Fenway Park. How cool is that? So if you love to have gorgeous stadiums that are clean and have great food to choose from, you want to check this out while you're in town. If you look to my right, there's electric bikes. They're kind of a unique thing. They're new to our area and they have them in different parts of downtown. And the cool thing is you can rent one for a half an hour for $5 for a single use. 
or you can rent them all day. And the stipulation for the all day for $15 is you can have them no longer than 60 minutes and then you have to pop them back on a charging station to let somebody else possibly use one. So that way they're not just sitting there and not being charged. If you do not do that, there's going to be a little bit of a violation charge. Not major. They get it if you missed it by a couple minutes, but it's not too bad. So if you're in downtown and you're on the other side, maybe on Main Street, and you need to get to dinner really quickly over here on the West End, then you're just going to hop on a bike and not have to worry about it. So let's go and check out some more. Yes, there's more. As we turn to the back of the Greenville Drive Stadium, you're gonna see places like Greenville High School, Wing Crave, which is so yummy. Wanna be careful as you're pulling in and out because it is a little tight space, but the chicken is worth it, I'm telling you, friends. You're gonna see the South Carolina Children's Theater. They do performances that are so cool for the kids and there's lots of different classes. They do a really good job of helping children come outside of their box. If you have a quiet child that maybe needs a little bit of coaching on how to talk to people, this might be a way for them to be able to talk to others through art or come out of their shell a little bit, right? We're gonna go down a little bit further and we're gonna be at Gather Greenville. Gather Greenville is really cool. It's a great concept where there's shipping containers that were converted into restaurants and coffee shops and breweries and things like that that is an open air space that has concerts that happen in it. And you can bring your little dog, your children, everything is really neat there. You wanna check out Gather Greenville. Let's go ahead and check out a little bit more of the last bit of West End. As we go a little bit further past Gather Greenville, we're gonna have across the street, Coop's Corner. So if it's a little loud over in Gather, or if it's a little too crowded for you, or maybe you don't want any of those things and you just want a beer, a good bite to eat, and a little bit of music, Coop's Corner's right there for you. It's a lot less congested because Gather can get kind of crazy on Friday and Saturdays, right? Who wouldn't want to try Hendo? Chicken and donuts? What? Okay, I'm in. And the Mercado, Oh my gosh, it is the best ranch water you will have, I'm telling y'all. You're going to go to the Pink Bee when you want some clothes. So nice boutique, higher end, nice cute clothes. You definitely want to check it out if you want to have some new stuff in your wardrobe. Go a little further down to Monroe's. It's really open, you'll notice that. You have on-street parking, but still plenty of room. You don't feel congested on the West End. Definitely walkable, very friendly. Let's go down a little bit further so you can check out the last bit of West End we're going to talk about today. So only steps further, you're at the warehouse, which is a cool playhouse that has where you're taking the books that you may have read as a child or in your teens, like Sherlock Holmes, Misery, you may not have been a child, but maybe as a teenager you read that, Jane Eyre, and they have changed the way you're going to look at them. You have Miss Holmes and Miss Watson at apartment 2B. You have Misery still, and then you have Jane Anger. So how cool is that? Over the next few months, you have something different that you get to check out while you're in Greenville. You go down a little bit further and you're at Augusta 20, which is a very beautiful boutique. Lots of things to choose from. And it's a higher end boutique, nicer quality clothes, good pricing even still, and it has parking. So that's really nice. You go a little bit further, you have Eggs Up Grill. Eggs Up has now become a chain that is over in Myrtle Beach. There's several locations in Greenville, and they're all over the state of South Carolina. You definitely want to try it when you come to Greenville. As we go on our final steps of the west end of downtown Greenville, you're going to notice something that you're going to be like, but Tracy, I just saw it. You are right. There are two copper pennies one on the other street and then one on this street. So if for some reason you see something that's not in your size at the one location, they can call over to the other location to see if they have that for you. There's Poppy's Tacos, so it is yummy. And there's seats where you can see outside and watch the passerbys. It is a great taco place and it's a good thing if you don't want to go through the hustle and bustle of Gather Greenville. While Mercado is amazing, it's so good. And this is amazing too. So if you don't want to have to deal with all that, but you want to get your tacos and just enjoy your time and relax, Poppy's is a great place to check out. 
You're going to have several law firms to choose from if you wanted to maybe have something that you need to get something handled. Maybe you need a job at a law firm. Maybe you're an attorney and you want to have a job and you want to live in downtown Greenville, work in downtown Greenville, and obviously play in downtown Greenville. We're going to go ahead and end this today. And if you have any questions or if there's things that you wish I would have said in here, put them in the comments so I can answer those questions for you. So there you have it, a walking tour of West End of downtown Greenville. Greenville. If you're having any thoughts of moving to the area, heck, even visiting the area, reach out to us so we can be the ones that help you through the process. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. All of my information is below, and we'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. If you want videos just like this, make sure you click here for more.